Hello everyone. Welcome back to Lucid Tutorials and I hope you are doing well. Today I will show you how to create cool photo effects in Apple's Freeform app easily and quickly. Here are some images that I have created in the Freeform app. I will take you through the process step by step. If you have never used the Freeform app or are unfamiliar with its tools, I have a comprehensive tutorial and some tips and tricks on how to use it. You can watch them all on the Lucid Tutorials channel. I will leave the links to the videos in the description box under this video if you want to watch them. Let's get started. First, launch the Freeform app. If the sidebar is not visible, Click on the icon in the top left corner to reveal the sidebar. And then click on the create a board icon in the toolbar to create your digital board. I have already created a board, so I don't need to create one. I have a photo on my desktop. I'll drag it onto the board and resize it by clicking and dragging one of the handles. This photo has sharp or pointed corners. I want to make the corners round. The easiest way is to select your photo or image by right clicking on it and selecting round corners from the context menu. If you want to have more control over the roundness of the corners, go to the shape library and add a rounded rectangle to the board by clicking on it. Next, drag the rectangle onto your image and resize it to suit your needs. There is a green handle on the edge of the rectangle. Drag it to the left or right to adjust the corner radius. Now select your photo and the shape by dragging your mouse pointer over them. Then go to the Format menu, move your mouse pointer over image, and select Mask with Selection from the submenu. Next, drag the slider to adjust the size and use your mouse pointer to change the position of your photo. Finally, click Done. 
this is how you can easily create a photo with rounded corners. Let's try another photo with a different shape. I have already added this photo to the board. I'll select an apple shape from the library, place it on the photo, and resize it. Next, select the photo and the shape by dragging the mouse pointer over them. You can also select them by pressing and holding down the shift key and clicking on them. Once your shape and image are selected, go to the format menu and select mask with selection. Use the slider to adjust the size and finally click down. You can resize the final image by dragging the handles. You can also copy and paste your image onto your Word document to use it with an article or a story. I have created two other images using the same techniques. As you can see, the effects are impressive. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you learned something new from it, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to receive notifications of upcoming tutorials. Your support will encourage me to make more videos for you. Thank you for watching.